last month I was hinting about clearing up this area when we finally did it I had to get rid of some of the, the bushes that we had around here they were quite overgrown and to get rid of them quickly I had I had to give them out for free it's not like I need them anyway and we have lots of cuttings that we have already struck around the place so it's not like we lost the plant or anything but before we discuss what I plan to do with this space a few flashbacks You'd probably remember this clip from a while back. The area is pretty crowded. And so I started removing plants one by one. Starting off with the pelargoniums. And eventually made my way towards the pig face and the blue chalk sticks. I managed to remove the pelargoniums and the pig face, so it's all clear now. There's still some blue chalk sticks over here, and I might have to remove them at some point. I've listed them in, in local buy swap and sell sites, so some, some people would be picking them up uh, sometime during this weekend and throughout the week, I guess. I think that's an efficient way to get rid of plants. In my local buy swap and sell groups, I'm known as the guy with the big fat chopsticks and these are some of them and I've listed them for sale and I've got someone who's interested in them and I hope the chopsticks will serve them well. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. It's raining again. Someone came over just now and picked up a few clumps of blue chopsticks. And it was a really quick and easy transaction. I think it was done and over with within just 5 to 10 minutes. I wish all transactions were as quick and easy. <laughs> I still have a few here and several more that I want to sell. I guess I'll just keep advertising. Today's mission is to fit as much of these blue chopsticks as I can inside this prepaid express post satchel. The buyer was okay with me just using this bag and she instructed me just to wrap these things in paper or something so I just had to pad them so I was thinking of using this roll of paper over here newspaper and maybe reinforce the, the outer edges with with some cardboard and we've got lots of cardboard care of our empty nappy boxes so let's get to it there's a few things I have to take note over here. They're numbered 1, 2, and 3. I don't think I need any of the optional features, so skip that. Double checking. So I have to make sure that delivery address, blah, blah, blah. Sender's address, blah, 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 yeah. Sign the Aviation Security and Dangerous Goods Declaration. Alright, yep. A parcel doesn't weigh more than 3 kilograms. This bag says that this is a 3 kilogram bag. It's up to the sender to double check that it doesn't exceed 3 kilos. And of course, the last thing, your items are well protected before sending. I really have to think about my padding and I'm starting to wonder if just, pa pa just using paper is enough or if I should have bought some bubble wrap. But I guess we'll see. Alright, let's start by laying out some paper. And this is just an old newspaper. We have hanging around. Well, it says here Frank's Cafe. Well, whoever you are, Frank, you've got free advertising here. <laughs> Alright. So, how do we attack this? As of the moment, it's curling on its own. I'll just have to, I don't know, lay them all this way. Part of me is contemplating just dumping all of them in there 
but I'll have to check that this doesn't actually exceed 3 kilograms padding and all I guess I have to break out the bathroom scale so I weighed this bunch there are 25 cuttings here and they're 2 kilograms so I have to add a few more and time for another go Finally got it in. I've got another person interested in getting chalksticks from me. And unlike the previous order, she wants them rooted. And because of that, I needed to get a larger box. Since I've run out of spare boxes, I just got one from the post office. Here's what's left of the rooted chalk sticks, or at least in this area. Although we have a bunch more over here. And I think this is another 8 or 9 clumps. The goal is to fit as much of them as I can within, uh, within the box, and they should not exceed 1 kilograms. So I might have to go with the younger ones. Look at this monstrosity, this is what you get for buying cheap tools. I haven't really thought about what I want to do with this base yet but I'm envisioning using a lot of pots or bowls or something raised so it might depend on what materials I'll be having access to for sure I'll be backfilling a bit of this with some soil I'll also have to find suitable containers or pots or bowls I'm thinking something maybe this high it sounds like a bird bath or maybe a, a fire pit, I don't know I guess it depends on what I see in the markets I don't get to show you around the back that much as you can see our vegetables are starting to crawl over and invade the place which is fine because we don't mind we like growing our own veggies in case you're wondering, this is a pumpkin patch. There's a few pumpkins over there. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it from there. I 
would like to thank my Patreon supporters, especially you, Oscarino. You've been a very staunch supporter of Series Capades. So, I really appreciate it, man. For everyone else, I'm on Patreon, and you can find me at patreon.com slash seriescapades. We've got the space problem sorted out. I cleared up the area, and all I need to do now is to think about what sort of plants would go there. Since it's still in the mid of summer, I think it would be best if I start any, any sort of building towards the end of summer, or maybe at the start of autumn. So that's March. So until March, I've got lots of time to think of the design and gather the necessary materials. So there's no rush really at the moment. I guess all we have to do now is wait. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.